Good day folks, those who haven't seen it, this is my control circuit here which I use to uh, pulse a big coil here, the coil is 1.9 ohms and I conferred the back EMF into um, this trend, this, uh, sorry, this capacitor here uh, if I can get the zoom out right here and it dumps it with the help of the neon here and quickly I got it set up, it's crude but it works Here's a voltage regulator for the control circuit, because the control circuit, which is my pulse width modulator, it doesn't require very much. So we're not going to run the lamp. Instead of running the lamp, what I've done is I put the charge into a real 12 volt battery here, and I'm running an inverter connected to a very small DC supply here. This is a 9 volt, very low, uh, I don't know if I could get, to, it's... Uh, 200 and 200 and some I think it's 200 milliamps that's maximum 9 volts but I already tested my system here and uh, true to meter it only takes about 60 milliamps to operate but I just give it a bit of play here and it's gonna run the inverter runs the control circuit it will pulse and the back EMF at 100 volts will charge the battery so the battery will run the inverter which runs the circuit which collects the back EMF so in other words the battery is going to self charge and gain a charge so I'm going to show you that right now okay so here it is I'm just going to turn it on with the inverter and as you see me turn it on you're going to see the control circuit kicks in and then there's the neon firing I don't know if you can see it, probably not. There it is, yeah, I see it. It fires 100 volts into this battery here. And I'm going to show you the measurement on my meter here. So I'm going to plug the meter in. This is always the part I can't do real time. But if you don't do it real time, people think it's rigged, so. Catch 22, huh? There it is. So now I'm touching it live. So 12.48, 12.49. See, the battery is charging. And it's self running itself. So it keeps raising up. And eventually it'll get stable like that. There's another method. If I want to run something like this glue gun at 20 watts without using it, well, here's a way you plug the power in. And what happens here is this allows me to run it without the VI curve going down so quick. So you're able to um, run your 20 watt item with only about 200 milliwatts input at 9 volts. I've got this connected to the plug obviously because right now I just disconnected. It was self-charging earlier but I just wanted to show you that you could use this method to get current output that you normally would and, and the battery charges as you see because you're still getting 110 volts pulsing through the system it's running the system still in the background as long as the back EMF keeps pulsing you can run a load off the inverter and the VI curve doesn't go down as sharply if not sometimes raises as you can see our voltage went up just from talking and this is connected it's plugged in it's hot and I believe it is that 20 watt it's a 20 watt device and we're doing good here see and this is as long as this circuit runs so just showing you different ways of, of how this all works you know see check this out 12.31 now just for a few minutes after talking and we're still connected so we're using 20 watts and we're still charging the battery. The battery's VI curve is going the other way and we're only using this 9 volts here sourcing it with the back EMF circuit here dumping 100 volts into the battery and that sustains our VI curve which allows us to run our inverter and our high wattage devices without taking it from the plug. See? I don't know if I missed it, but it jumped, yeah, see, 12.32. So as we talk, this keeps building up a charge in the battery with a very, very little input here. And as long as we run things in the inverter, not too crazy, like 20 watts or so, this process keeps building up a voltage chemical reaction inside the battery. This is where the extra energy comes from. But we need a very, only a small input source. You get a small input, you get a greater out. 
This is basically what Bedini was talking about here.